How's Guardians of the Galaxy back together again? Oh, we're too fast. Hey. Just so you know, this is my ship still. I'm in charge. I know. I know. Of course you are. Of course. So you say, of course, but then you touch the map. It's time for one of our favorite sections, the Marvel News section. And if you guys are finding us for the first time, please subscribe. We are the Black Avengers of current culture. I'm Lamont. The guy in the middle is T-Streams. The guy on the other end is Larry. We're going to drop you guys that Marvel news right now. We've got two pieces. Number one, we have a date for when Guardians 3 is going to come out. And number two, they hit the presses just last night. They are thinking of doing a big story and lead up to X-Men versus Avenger. Take a listen to this. Today we're going to be talking about possibly the third X-Men team-up movie and also the third Infinity War and Endgame style team-up movie in the form of Avengers vs. X-Men. Rumor comes from Mikey Sutton, who actually, all the way back in 2015, was the first to say that Marvel and Fox were in the process of making up, and stated that plans were in the works for an Avengers vs. X-Men film. The latest update from Sutton, via the Lords of the Longbox YouTube channel, however, states how do you top Avengers Infinity War and Endgame? Well, with Avengers Secret Wars. And how do you top that? With Avengers vs. X-Men. It's also claimed that both Magneto and Doctor Doom's presence in the MCU will gradually be acknowledged, but after the past few X-Men movies, especially Dark Phoenix, Kevin Feige wants to hold back on Magneto. However, he'll be built up as the initial villain in Avengers Secret Wars before ultimately leading the charge against Doctor Doom in an epic fight between the two which will melt IMAX screens worldwide. It's said that Magneto, once an object of distrust, wins over the hearts and minds of the X-Men, and with the mutants at his side, except for Professor X and Wolverine, will set up Avengers vs. X-Men. For some background information, in the 1984 comics titled Secret Wars, a cosmic entity called the Beyonder teleported many of Marvel's most powerful heroes and deadliest villains against their will to battle world, a planet he created and filled with tons of alien technology and weapons. He then tells them, I am from beyond. Slay your enemies and all that you desire will be yours. Nothing you dream of is impossible for me to accomplish. In the comics, the Avengers along with the Fantastic Four and many other heroes team up to take on the villains. However, the X-Men group up and kind of do their own thing, fighting villains away from the rest of the heroes. Eventually, Doctor Doom steals the Beyonder's powers and becomes the main villain, so it's up to the heroes to defeat him. But following this, in Avengers vs. X-Men, the Phoenix Force, which is one of the oldest known cosmic entities, representing life that has not yet been born, is coming to Earth for Hope Summers. The X-Men believe that the Phoenix Force will herald the rebirth of the mutant species, while the Avengers believe that it'll bring an end to all life on Earth. Some of the Avengers go to space and try to stop the Phoenix Force, but they're easily defeated. So Iron Man and Giant Man create a weapon to destroy it, but instead of killing it, they shatter it into five fragments, which bond to Cyclops, Emma Frost, Namor, Colossus, and Magic, creating the Phoenix Five, a team with almost unlimited power which would go on to better the world by providing free energy, food, and water to everyone, as well as ending all wars. However, the Avengers don't trust the Phoenix Five, and believe that at any point they could go Dark Phoenix, so they try to stop them. The Phoenix Five along with the X-Men easily defeat anyone who opposes them, and begin to capture the other heroes, but eventually, Hope Summers is able to stop them, and using Scarlet Witch's powers to manipulate reality, she destroyed the Phoenix Force with a final blast of energy, causing millions of people around the Earth to manifest new mutant powers. So as you can see, Secret Wars will begin to divide the Avengers and X-Men, and the Phoenix Force will only separate them further, leading to the Avengers vs. X-Men, until ultimately, they work together to save the Earth. Lastly, regarding Secret Wars, it's been rumored to be the next Endgame level event at the end of Phase 6, and by the time Phase 7 starts, Avengers vs. X-Men will begin to happen, and the X-Men characters will be fully integrated into the MCU. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you excited to see the epic battle between Magneto and Doctor Doom? And most importantly, are you excited for Avengers vs. X-Men? That's the secret leak for Avengers vs. X-Men. And this is what AMC had to say. Guardians of the Galaxy was the highest grossing domestic film of 2014 with 333 million. Writer, director James Gunn, the entire cast will be back for volume three in 2020. And James Gunn, who is very active on Twitter, responded back with this to say, um, websites for frantically writing James Gunn announces Guardians won't release until 2022. 
in a thousand words, but then you see the last article he said, I didn't say 2022, which have led geeks like me around the world to get a big old orgasm because it's probably gonna happen in 2021. Larry, I'll give it to you first. Comment on either one of them you want to comment on. I'm here for it all. I'm, I mean, I'm glad that dude's back for, for Guardians because they were talking about removing them for something that he said like 10 years ago or something. I don't know. People were. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they point, did they remove them. Back in, the, in his Twitter archives and saw something they didn't like and they tried to move them out. And then they did. You know, and then they hired him back. Do it if, huh? They did fire him and then they hired him back. Yeah. yeah, and Batista came out and said he wasn't going to do the movie if dude wasn't if he wasn't behind you know if he wasn't at the helm and so we'll you know I'm glad that he's back you know the other the other part with the X Men I hope that you know I hope they do that where you know where people get mutant powers and I hope that you know Killmonger gets some mutant powers so that he can go and take his rightful place on the throne and and liberate us all. And uh, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It should be fun. I mean, there, the, you know, I still, I'm still waiting for Gamut. So I'm hoping maybe they'll have some. Uh, you know, they'll bring him in somewhere. You know, I don't think we're ever going to see that solo movie, but I maybe we'll actually get to see him as part. You know, as, as part of the team, some at some point. Good. But, Ain't nobody want to see Chan and fucking Tatum as Gambit, man. I don't want to see Magic Mike as Gambit. T-Streams, take it, man. Godly. <laughs> this guy, oh, he, he just, Larry just like to pick on people. He wants Killmonger back. He wants to see Magic Mike trying to be a mutant man. T-Streams, the floor is yours, man. This guy, here. <laughs> oh, dancing Gambit. <laughs> yeah, right. I think, uh, well, one, Guardian of the Galaxy, I'm excited for. Her, okay. I'm mm -hmm. uh, definitely excited about that, man. Those are really some pretty cool movies, man. Uh so I, I like how they I like how they developed that story. And so I'm glad I'm glad dude is back on the team with that and they're gonna push it through. And 2021 is a whole lot better than 2022. The X-Men uh movie, good concept. I'm, I'm eager to see how, how you're going to take two fan favorites and, and make them rock against each other. The only thing that I don't like is that it said at the end of phase six, early phase seven. <laughs> and I'll be eligible for AARP then. I know, right? We be getting discount movie tickets. <laughs> getting in, getting in at the, you get the early bird rate all day long. <laughs> Hey, man, y'all know good and damn well Cougars is looking better, older nowadays than what they ever have been. It ain't, it ain't even going to be a hard thing for us to turn 65. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. At, at, at 45, I'm getting, a whole, I'm getting a whole lot of pepper down here, man. Oh, my God. God. Lord, Lord have mercy. Man, I'm going to be caned. I'm going to be caned out and gray hair all over going she x-men here well look man I, i'm excited for all of it but i'm with you guys that's a long time to be waiting yeah, but I, time, man. It, I think they're getting to the point where they're going to be doing four movies a year the slate for 2022 is four movies so all I can say is, you know, um, hold on to your Iron Man underwear. Everybody got a pair. I got one. And we'll just have to rock out for it and wait until it happens. You know? All right.